since everybody really seemed to enjoy the last top five video on As Bob Sees It, I've decided I'm going to do another top five video. Oh good, I was wondering when we were going to do another one. I could use the cash. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to do this one on my own. You're not going to have anything to do with this. What are you talking about? Of course I'm going to be in the video. I'm in every video that says it's a top five video. I have a contract. Okay, a contract, huh? Well, two can play at this game. Wait until you watch this part. Hurtful, Bob. Real hurtful. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about that, Yosh, but we here in Orlando take our fountains seriously. I mean, just look at Lake Eola's fountain. That's an icon for the entire city. I mean, just look at the city's logo itself. Not to even mention the city's street signs. Yep, that's the Lake Eola fountain right on the corner of the sign. Well, Walt Disney World's no different. They've got fountains all over the property. So today, we're going to count down the top five, I mean seven, fountains at Walt Disney World. Set some ground rules, because what's a numbered list without ground rules? Okay, first one, no bubblers. The fountain's got to at least try to make the water go up in the air. So, Epcot, that front fountain, nah, that one's out. I mean, face facts, it's not even as cool as it used to be, and it wasn't really all that cool then. Now nah, it's really more of a waterfall than it is really a fountain. Okay, second, none of those kitty splash pad things that they have at Disney Springs and over at Epcot. If the main reason to have it is for so your four-year-old can get cooled off, it's not really a fountain. And yeah, you know you really want to go in there. You do. You just won't say anything to anybody. Yeah, and, and none of those whose sole purpose is to send the algae spores into the deeper parts of the water so that they'll have less sunlight and less chance to grow, no matter how cool it is around it. And no matter how historic it is, or no matter how pretty it is, if its main function was to feed thirsty camels in caravans, it's not going to be a fountain for us. I also probably don't have to tell you, is if it doesn't exist anymore, we're not going to count it either. And really, I, I just put this one in here because it was designed by Walter Paragoy. Walter Paragoy was one of my favorite Disney designers. I mean, he was the one who designed the outlay for the mosaic mural outside of the land itself. Not Hans Schroff, but Walter Paraguay. But if you want more information on that, just click on that little icon thingy up in the right hand corner. That'll take you right to a video about it. And as per usual, we won't be counting anything on the Disney Cruise Lines itself. Now, I don't really know if there are any fountains on the Disney Cruise Line, but I will let you know after November. And finally, do I really need to say that? No, just no, no, just no. Let's just move right into our number seven fountain, and that's the new Disney Springs sign with a fountain right in front. And, well, yes, I realize it's not as impressive as some of the other fountains. You know how hard it is to find two additional fountains for your countdown? Wait, what was that all about? Uh, nothing, Yosh, nothing. Now that he's gone, we can move on to our number six fountain. And that you'll find amongst the stately white column mansions of Magnolia Bend over at Port Orleans Riverside. And I'm talking about the Partieray Place. Now, Partieray Place in Magnolia Bend opened after Dixie Landings in 1992, in what was then the Dixie Landings Resort. All of Partieray Place's rooms are royal rooms, so that requires a royal fountain, which is even more spectacular at night. Located in front of the Imagination Pavilion is our number five fountain, and it's kind of unusual. Everyone knows it as the backwards waterfall or the reverse waterfall. It's a great place to sit and relax and, of course, get an epic view of the passing monorail. Now, we stay at All-Star Resorts a lot, so it wouldn't be right to leave them out. So our number four fountain is actually Two water features in a standard fountain, all located within the all-star resorts. First off, you've got the beautiful Mickey Fountain spraying the pool over at All-Star Movies. Heading on over to the All-Star Sports Resort, you got one of my favorites, Goofy, who's spraying out towards home plate in the baseball themed pool. And right in the middle of music is the beautiful fountain in front of the jazz section, reminiscent of New Orleans, Louisiana. 
Our number three pool finds us over at one of my favorite resorts, Coronado Springs, and one of my favorite sections of Coronado Springs, the Casitas section. Because number three is the gorgeous reflecting fountain right near the Casitas pool. It's pretty long and just complements the beautiful landscaping there. And the spitting lions ain't bad either. And what countdown wouldn't be complete without our number two fountain, which is the Fountain of Nations over at Epcot. It just doesn't look much like this anymore. There's a lot more concrete now. If you want to see the fountain, you better hurry up, because it's going to be closing down in September for the big renovation. But according to the concept art, it's going to be coming back bigger and better than ever. Now, I've heard it described in a couple of ways. One of those being the Water Ballet Fountain. But I prefer to go with the Fireworks Fountain, because if you've ever noticed, when it reaches the ultimate height of 50 feet in the air, you hear little pops in the background. It doesn't really matter. Either way, it's really cool to watch. Especially when it's lit up at night. And now is the part of the video you've all been waiting for. No, no, not the number one fountain. The honorable mentions. This is where I get to talk about a bunch of fountains that I left out of the countdown and feel really bad about and don't want to really offend anybody. So let's go on and look at them. The first of our honorable mentions sits outside the American Pavilion in front of the American Adventure Theater. And it's there to make up for the little tiny one that's inside that nobody ever notices. Except for the birds that fly in to use it as a bird bath, where you're eating your food. Next up, over at Epcot, is going to be the German Pavilion, where they have St. George and the Dragon hanging on to the top of the Plaz, or Plaza. I don't know why they leave off an A in German. Up over in Epcot is the Morocco Pavilion, where there's a fountain just outside the Bob Bougelou, you know, the gateway to Fez. And this mosaic fountain out here is not to be missed. Hey, let's head back over to Coronado Springs, because my favorite resort is just filled with water fountains, starting at the old lobby. I'm gonna miss you, old lobby. Oh yeah, for those who didn't know, they've closed the registration desk over in the old part of Coronado Springs and moved everything over to the brand new Grand Destino Tower. Which doesn't have any fountains, but it does have this really cool water feature out in front of the building. Ah, uh, how relaxing. Hey, where was I? Oh yeah, I want to talk about the Casitas area because there's pretty much a fountain everywhere you blink there. Not just the cool reflecting pool. They also have another one over by Building 1 by the entrance to the Convention Center. There's a really cool fountain in the Rotunda area where all the Casitas buildings come together. And of course there's an everyday ordinary fountain over in front of Building 3 in the courtyard there. And now let's head over to another resort that's just crawling with water fountains everywhere you go. And that would be Port Orleans French Quarter, another one of my favorite resorts. If you take a look at this old map, you can see that there's pretty much fountains everywhere there's a square over at Port Orleans French Quarter. There's one at Beignet Square where you go to watch your movies under the stars every night. There's a fountain that's in the square that's, well it doesn't even have a name, but it's off of Pontchartrain Way. And not to be outdone by Coronado Springs, they have their own reflecting pool over at Beauregard's Square. Yeah, Beauregard. Only they don't have lions there, they have frogs. But we did notice, suspiciously, one was missing last time we were there. I swear I don't have it. And in a strange sense of irony, the only square that doesn't really have a fountain is called Fido Fountain. I guess it used to be a dog walking place or something. Yep, just no fountain there. I felt as if our honorable mentions needed to include the Dolphin's massive combination fountain and waterfall. Who knows, maybe someday we'll see the monorail coming through the building right above the fountain. I can dream, can I? There are water fountains at pretty much every Disney resort at Walt Disney World, and of course, those that don't have a waterfall or two. But you know, that sounds like an idea for another top five. You know, okay. Or a top seven rating list for Walt Disney World. That's low, Bob. That's really, really low. And that brings us right up to our number one fountain for all of Walt Disney World. It really feels like there should be some fireworks here or something. Oh, wait a second. I know.
Eh, I'm sure of it. That's a much better way of introducing our number one fountain. And for our number one fountain, we head over to Hollywood Studios for one of Disney's most beloved icon figures. You know, Miss Piggy. It's located in what used to be called the Muppet Courtyard, but now it's just off of Grand Avenue. You know, right in front of Muppet Vision 3D and across from Pizza Rizzo. But it's not named after the Muppets anymore. But go figure. It features all your favorite Muppet characters. Well, especially Miss Piggy. But I love the part where Rizzo's in a boat trying to collect up the coins that kids throw in the bottom of the fountain. Hey, wait a minute. Something's missing him. There used to be a lot more Muppet characters in that fountain. I mean, who are you trying to pull a fast one on, Disney? You think we wouldn't notice that you renovated the fountain? I mean, where's Scuba Diving Gonzo, for gosh sakes? Or Animal, who was turning on or off the fountain, whichever way you look at it. Or Fozzie Bear, who was getting the whole thing on camera. You know, Disney, it's bad enough you took all of us, all the Muppets merchandise out of the Muppet store, but... but alright, alright, that's a rant for another day, so just sit back and enjoy our number one fountain, the Miss Piggy Fountain, over in Muppet Courtyard. Thunderstorm's got to end eventually, and Emmy will get back to checking likes and comments when they're over. And if you like this video, why don't you just give it that big thumbs up? That way, the Illuminati who live in the tunnels below the Denver airport will let us live for a few more days and won't seek to bring down the end of mankind. Now, I try to put out a new video every Friday, but if you really want to know, I think you should subscribe. But you know, in this day and age, just because you subscribe doesn't mean they're going to tell you anything. You need to remember to click on that bell icon. That way you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.